Uh, Alright, what's up YouTube? I just wanted to jump on here really fast and show you guys what I'm doing for breakfast and maybe give you an idea of what a good, um, a good, uh, healthy, um, like fulfilling breakfast, what it would be. Um, I mean, especially if your goals are kind of like what mine are and, and that's, that's, that's gaining lean muscle mass and, and a bodybuilding kind of style of, of, of lifting and training and, and a physique. Um, but just because that's the case for me, does not mean that, um, that that my tips exclude you guys that, that aren't necessarily trying to do that. Even if it's just fitness and health in general and you work out for different reasons or different goals and that being to either shred or to just be healthy or to just love yourself, then then I, I highly think that, that my channel and my videos will, will be applicable for, for you as well. Um, so that being said, I'm getting a late start this morning. Um, anyway, yeah, I stayed up kind of late last night doing some stuff, having some fun. But uh, anyway, so so what I usually do for breakfast, um, a quick, quick, fast thing is, is oatmeal. Okay, oatmeal, you can't go wrong with oatmeal. And I've got, um, you know, I've got three packets in there. <clears throat> okay, and that's going to be really good on your complex carbs, okay, which is going to translate into energy and and. Calories is energy that your body uh, can burn for whenever you actually do go out and, and do that exercise, which that being said, I'm about to go out for a run. Got to get some cardio in because um, you got to up your cardio in order to, um, the, my goals being to reduce my sodium, get rid of water weight. I've got to do that. As much as I don't like cardio, it, you know what? It freaking feels good to sweat actually. <clears throat> and so I've been doing that. So anyway, just a couple extra ideas also um, for added nutrition, added energy, added benefits to your oatmeal. What I do uh, generally is I add a scoop of of um, of peanut butter um, for added protein, okay? And then I get a good squirt of honey in there, okay? Honey, it's going to be natural sugar, um, which which is, is uh, you know, carbohydrates and it's, it's energy, it's calories what it is okay and also what I do is I pour a good um, get a good couple scoops of this uh, breakfast essentials um, and if you can see that right there um, what that's gonna do that's added vitamins okay that's added vitamin D's that's added vitamins that's added minerals that's added calcium that's added protein to um, my oatmeal I literally mix this powder just in with my oatmeal instead of instead of mixing this in with milk and making a making like a chocolate shake out of it um, that's kind of what I do for it um, because of the fact that whenever I, um, eat breakfast, I generally, for my beverage, you know what I'm saying? Like for it to be, uh, this, um, that's naked, um, the naked juice, it's mighty mango. Um, again, your, your, your natural fruits are going to have, you know, not, not added sugars, but your natural sugars, which is again, calories, which is again, carbohydrate, what, what you, what you need, you know what I'm saying? Um, so Hopefully I was kind of helpful on all of that. And man, I've noticed, you know, even if it, if what I'm eating doesn't taste good, if I know that it's beneficial to my body and that scientifically it's 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 what I need, even if it doesn't like taste good and I don't enjoy it like like on my taste bud like at the time, I know it's worth it because my body, I in my mind, I've been feeling better. So sometimes guys, just a little key and a tip to keep in mind is that I know we're fleshly human beings that like to enjoy um, the, the things that we do, right? And eating is, is one of those things. And so what tastes good is what, is what we think that, um, that we need. Uh, but sometimes guys, if, 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 um, you want your goals to be an actual healthy body in mind, um, you may have to kind of bypass the, the desire for wanting your food to always, always taste good. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Eating for me is more of a job than an enjoyment. And I know that sounds like bad to you guys, um, you know, because I have to like stuff my face a lot of times without even enjoying what I'm eating. But the benefits, the, the, you reap what you sow, right? So what I'm, um, what I'm reaping, what I'm getting back, the benefits or the, the fruit of, of what I'm sowing, the good seeds that are, are paying off and it's worth it to, to maybe like not enjoy life as much. I mean, it, I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, um, I'm going to hurry up and do this because I've got to get out and I'm going to, I'm going to do a run this morning. So, you know, can't be having you guys waste my time all tied up on my video all day, even though as much as I know you guys love me. So I'm going to go ahead and call it good at that. I love you guys. 
Also, another thing to keep in mind is that all this being said, our bodies and our minds are very important, okay? But at the end of the day, the reason why my YouTube channel is called Gains for Jesus is because these bodies of ours will not live on forever. You don't have to be a Christian to believe that. You just have to not be a retard. And I say that with all due respect, okay, guys? You know that these bodies won't live on forever. So the Bible does say that, that um, physical training is of some value, because it is, because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit in which God's Spirit lives in our, through our bodies. But this is a tent. This is a temporary tent. What that means is that it's going to be destroyed. It's going to perish. Okay? But you would have to be foolish. Listen to me right now. You would have to be foolish to not think that there's something inside of you, a soul or a spirit or whatever you want to call it, that's going to live on forever. Okay? God has manifested... His existence in all of creation. And so you're going to be without excuse. You can't say nobody told me that Jesus Christ or God exists. Because the Bible says that through His creation, He has 